know, I remember when some dude, they, you know, with the glass jaw, Ricky Hat was talking smack, and you looked at your man Leonard Ellaby and said, make the damn fight, and then you yes. went and you took care of him. I did. So in other words, you are allergic to people chirping and talking smack. Now, we got a Manny Pacquiao yes. who clearly has been talking about how his shoulder somehow got hurt, and that's why he lost to you, okay? We got some dude in the UFC, I, I, Conor I, I, McGregor, you know, talking. Say, Go I ahead. Say, I want to say thank you for so many years. You and Dan from Fight Hype are the only two that said it was going to be a blowout. Everyone else was Manny Pacquiao. They made commercials. They said I was a coward. They said I was a chicken. And then I made everybody eat their words. Every year, for years, they keep, they keep building these fighters, keep building these fighters, and all I do is just... But that's where I'm going. That, that's where I'm going. Because, see, I'm trying to figure out where Floyd Money Mayweather is right now in this regard. Um, like I said, I'm a hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm a I know you're a promoter, but, but stay with me, stay with me. I'm getting someplace. Okay. You got Pacquiao chirping, talking about he would be healthy this time around, mm -hmm. so he wouldn't mind a rematch. We got Conor McGregor, who's in the UFC, talking about he want to be a boxer. He wants a piece of you. I'm wondering, does that chirping affect you? Does it entice you to look at Lynn LB, the ultimate business manager, and sit up there and go like this? Look, man, make the damn fight. I'm tired of this. Does that entice you to do that? We try to make the Conor McGregor fight. Is that right? We try to I, make the I, Conor I didn't hear about fight. this. Please enlighten me. Well, we tried to make the Conor McGregor fight. Um, they know what my number is. Um, my number was a guaranteed 100 million. That was my, that was my number. Um, we're the A side. And I don't really know how much money he has made before. I don't know how much money Conor McGregor has made. I'm pretty sure he hasn't even made $10 million in an MMA bout. But we are willing to give him $15 million. And then we could talk about splitting the percentage, the, the back end percentage on pay-per-view. But, of course, we're the A side. You know, how can a guy talk about 20 or $30 million if he's never even made Eight or nine million. So let me get this right. You're saying I'm that saying, you I'm wanted a hundred million. Uh, no, I'm you offered right him fifteen million. I'm saying right here on the show. Conor McGregor keep telling everybody he wants to fight. Let's make it happen. Floyd, from a competitive point of view, in a boxing ring, that's not that's a non-competitive fight. What? That's not my fault. No, 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 no. I paved the way before Conor McGregor. Remember, Floyd Mayweather have been dominating since the nineties. I, I I do I, recall I, I, I was there for the Corrales listen, fight. I don't know. Not just boxer. N not just boxer, you can't tell me no other athlete that's been at the top for 20 years. Right, so, but let me ask, what, I'm, what I'm asking is, from a competitive point of view, because a champion who's performed on the highest level for many years yes. must have competitive juices flowing the way Michael Jordan looks at LeBron James and thinks, I would defend him this way, I, I would play him that way. Do you look at any young fighters today and think, I know exactly how to beat that guy. I'd like to fight that guy. Not in a business sense, from just a purely athletic, competitive point of view. No. Actually not. Actually, actually not. But I'm here to say on this first take. You guys keep hearing all these different rumors about these different fighters on the face floor in Mayweather. Everybody keep talking about Conor McGregor. He's blowing smoke. Of everybody's ass. Can I say ass on you? No, no. Oh, go sorry. ahead. It's okay. It's okay. They'll get over it. Go ahead. Keep going. Don't, don't disrupt your flow. Keep going. Okay. Um, Dana White, the UFC. Let's make it happen. Bring him over to the boxing world, and I show him what it's like. Easy. So what? 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 What, what exactly does that mean? I'm you can show him what it's like. I want to know what you mean by that. What? What would I'm you do? I'm saying I made three hundred million in thirty minutes. So what I'm saying is this. If his height, whatever he's made, if he's made eight million and about, I'm willing to give him sixteen million. If he's made five million, I'm going to give him ten million. If he's made three million, I can only give you six million. I can ask for a hundred million because I've made that on more than one occasion. But what would you do to Conor McGregor if he stepped inside a boxing ring against you? I was saying, still ain't got to be talked about. Floyd, from from what I can gather from what you're saying, it mm -hmm. seems that you're. Your interest, what gets your juices going, is the business of it all. Even in terms of the Conor McGregor, it's, it's about making the deal, the business deal that seems Absolutely. to be exciting you, as opposed to, and you even mentioned this before the Pacquiao fight, you were tired of the athletic competitive side of it, and you, and you, had, you were kind of done with boxing. 
Is that where you're, how you're still feeling? Sometimes after a, an absence, a fighter will start to itch because he's been doing it his whole life. I just want to say what I'm looking for. What I'm looking for. I'm looking to. I'm looking to find the next Floyd Mayweather because I've accomplished everything that I wanted to accomplish. I broke every record in, in boxing. I'm not here to knock Rocky Marciano. I'm not here to knock Muhammad Ali or no legendary champion that paved the way for me to be where I'm at. But if I don't have that mentality that I'm the best, I wouldn't have accomplished what I've accomplished in the sport of boxing. Having said that, here's where I'm at. The Floyd Mayweather that I know likes his money. That's why he's Money Mayweather. <laughs> and no matter how much money there has proven to be in promotion, yes. it seems to me as somebody who, who, who lets the world know you own your own brand, so you get the promotional dollars plus the boxing dollars. But let's get this right. I'm the only athlete. That's right. I'm the only athlete that owns his own brand outright and I'm the only athlete that owns all his fights. That's right. So okay. what I'm saying, so what I'm saying to you is okay, there's see. nobody that you're representing that's going to generate the money as a fighter that you would generate. So being that combined with the fact that you love your money, here's my question. Well, you got to realize this. The thing is this. Conor McGregor has a boss. He has somebody you have to answer to. Pacquiao. I wasn't even going Conor McGregor. No, 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 but Pacquiao has a boss. He has somebody he has to answer to. I don't have no boss. Yeah, that's true. But they all, but the bosses even are going to capitulate to you because the money that they want to generate for the fighters, they know they can't generate the dollars for them going against somebody else. He's they can generate he going leverage to make he himself did, he a did, boss. Exactly. And now that he's the boss, that's where I'm going. I'm going here. You've got a situation where if Pacquiao continues to look relatively decent and swear and gets everybody to believe that he was truly injured when he fought you. That could potentially be another $100 million fight. Would he get a rematch? Or would you, what about Triple G? I don't want you against Triple G. You know, I got, listen, I believe in you. Was, was, was Triple G the same guy that was struggling with a waterweight? Yeah. Uh, wait, 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 with Kel Brooks. Oh, okay. Kel Brooks. But I'm just saying, someone, what he would argue is that he can't get good fights. So, with so he's getting hit on purpose. So with Pacquiao, he, is this the same guy? When the fight was over, he was raising his hands like this. I said, that's the same guy. That's the same guy. Okay. That's I'll, the same I'll, guy. I'll, that's the same guy. I'm confusing here. I want to make guy. sure. I'm no asking. one really thinks Pacquiao won that fight. No, no, no. no. I'm, just, I'm not saying they think he won the fight. I'm saying that because he's saying that yes. he wasn't 100%, he would be 100% for a rematch, which could, pogener, could potentially generate the kind of dollars and, that you would want. So would that make you reconsider coming out of retirement? That's what I'm asking. Only thing that I'm probably, only thing I, that's pro, I'm probably interested in, is probably the Conor McGregor fight. Really, hey, Floyd, you I, mentioned I, I, I'm a businessman, and it makes more business sense. Yeah, I easy, think, easy work, hundred million. Why not? I work. I believe in work. Like what me and Al Hammer talk about every day. You know, I believe in working smarter, not harder.